Hello friends, this video on Amines part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The objective of this lesson is to name amines according to the IUPAC nomenclature, to discuss the reactions involved in the preparation of amines and diazonium salts. We'll talk about what is diazonium salts. We'll talk about the IUPAC name of amines. We'll talk about the preparations of amines. We'll also discuss and classify primary, secondary and tertiary amines. We'll also try to correlate the physical properties of amines with their structure. So physical properties and structure, why they have X physical properties based on their Y structures. We'll try to correlate that and we'll also discuss chemical reactions for amines. And last, we'll discuss the uses of amines and diazonium salt. So, We'll talk about the IUPAC nomenclature, preparations and physical properties, chemical properties and uses of amines and diazonium salt. Let's start the chapter. Before we even start the chapter, the first question that comes to our mind is what are amines? Correct? So the answer is amines are derivative of ammonia. What is ammonia? Ammonia is NH3, you know. This is my ammonia correct so amines are nothing but they are derivative of ammonia obtained by replacement of one two or all three hydrogen if you see ammonia has three hydrogen you see ammonia has three hydrogen correct so you replace either one hydrogen with alkyl or aryl group for example instead of H you make it R this is one amine Another thing can be, you replace 2H with R. This is also one amine. Or you replace all 3H with R. All 3H you make it R. This is also one amine. So you had ammonia, NH3. You replace either one hydrogen, that is amine. You replace two hydrogens with R. That is my alkyl or aryl group, that is amine. You replace all three hydrogens that also becomes amine. So they are lone pairs of electrons here. So if you see, these are my amines. So if you see here, and in NH3, one hydrogen is replaced with methyl group. This is one amine. We'll talk about the nomenclature later. So if you see here, there was an NH3, NH3 if you see, what happened is, one hydrogen is replaced with my benzyl group. So this is also one amine. So this becomes C6H5NH2. Similarly here if you see we had NH3. So two of these hydrogens are replaced with two methyl group. Correct. And this is what you get CH3 NH CH3. So this is also one amine. Here also if you see it was NH3. And all this hydrogen is replaced with CH3. So this is also one amine. So what are amines? Amines are nothing but derivatives of ammonia. And if you see the name amines come from ammonia itself. Amines means derivative of ammonia where you replace H with R. You can replace 1H, 2H or 3H. So here also if you want you can give the lone pair. It is not shown but you can mention. These are my amines. Amines are nothing but derivatives of ammonia obtained by replacement of one, two or all three hydrogens atom that we have in ammonia with alkyl or aryl group. So now we understood the definition of amine. What are amine? Big deal. What is the need to study amine? Why should we study amine? So if you see amines are used a lot. If you see the fruits, vegetables we use, it has proteins and vitamins, right? So these proteins and vitamins are nothing but amines. And this proteins and vitamins deficiency can cause a lot of diseases. So these are all amines actually. Proteins and vitamins are all amines. The alkaloids, what are they also amines? What are alkaloids? They are naturally occurring chemical compound that contains mostly basic nitrogen atoms. 
they are there naturally occurring chemical compounds and they are used a lot they are nothing but amines hormones if you see hormones which you have in a body and you must have heard hormonal imbalance some person becomes very fat because of hormonal imbalance some person becomes uh, becomes tensed because of hormonal imbalance so this hormone which we have in fact the female horm hormone the male hormones that depicts the character of a person these hormones are nothing but amines polymers if you see the plastics most of the plastics which use the polymers and amines are used extensively here the dyes to create dyes amines are used drugs lot of drugs which we take has amines also adrenaline that is used to pump up the blood pressure A lot of sport athlete takes that that is illegal to take it but it will pump up your bl uh, blood pressure to make you more energetic that is also a mine and there are a lot of other uses also for example benadryl that is used for anti uh, cough syrup these things are also a mine and a mines are also used for anesthetic so when doctors will operate a patient they'll use anesthesia so there are mines are used novacin that is a mine used here so these are all mines in our day to day life we talk about hormones you talk about dyes plastics the main thing is proteins vitamins medicines a lot of places we have amine in picture since amines plays a vital importance in our day to day life it is good that we study amines and understand their property thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching